What's going on guys, Ben here, Enos Tech, and today we're taking a look at the TT Esports uh, Poseidon Key Mechanical Keyboard. Now this mechanical keyboard features the brown kale switches, and it comes with a nice blue backlighting to give it kind of a gamery feel to it, which is quite nice, obviously, if you're um, playing in the dark, it's always nice to have some backlit keys. Uh, one of the major things about this keyboard is that it comes with a five-year warranty. So this keyboard comes in at just under 70 pounds in the UK, and you figure a five-year warranty, um, if you paid 15 pounds a year on that, that would be 75 pounds. So you're getting a keyboard for like 13, 14 pounds a year that you can trust, and five-year warranty is always great to back it up. Now I've had a lot of time to play with this. Um, I actually used it for quite a while. Did the full written review that is um, will be linked down in the description below. And I am quite impressed with it. Even though it has the um, the kale switches or how, the K-A-I-L-H switches, however you want to pronounce it, um, it's quite nice. Now you can definitely feel a bit of a difference between these switches and Cherry MX switches, but it's all good. These switches are a bit more budget friendly, which allows TT Esports and other companies to sell these keyboards a little bit cheaper. Uh, they're great if you're just getting into mechanical keyboards, or even if you're experienced, like they are quite nice. And again, that five year warranty should give you some inclination into how TT Esports feel about it. They are giving you a five year warranty, so obviously there's gonna shouldn't be any problems with it. Uh, it should be a nice sturdy keyboard. It definitely, um, when you get it, pick it up, it is. You can definitely feel a mechanical keyboard when you buy one versus a um, normal membrane one, they are a lot heavier. Um, the clicks, you can definitely hear the clicks a lot nicer. <laughs> um, some people like that, some people don't. Me, I like it, I like the feel of it. Uh, I went back to using a membrane keyboard after this for a review and it's, oh, you, it, it really does feel like you're pushing the key into the rubber domes. Like it's hard to explain if you haven't experienced a mechanical keyboard, but if you have experienced one, go back to a membrane and it really does just feel like you're pressing your fingers into like a rubber tire or something. Uh, they're, they're good for what they are, but there's just no comparison to any type of mechanical keyboard. Now I use this in a variety of different games and I was quite impressed with it. Uh, the biggest thing I have to say I was impressed with was I'm um, playing Quake Live. I play a lot of Clan Arena, Rocket Arena, whatever you want to call it. And it's real fast paced, rocket jumps, grenade jumps, because there's no self damage and whatnot. And the shorter actuation on these switches actually makes you, you can react quicker and it's quite nice. Uh, when I first started out with it, I did run into a little bit of problems playing like Battlefield 4 and stuff. Or CSGO when I'm sitting there sniping, I get a little antsy and uh, my thumb kind of like clicks down and stuff. Well, it'll be my other thumb. It gets a little, uh, and where well, you don't have to fully depress these keys all the way in, sometimes they do get hit. But the more time I spent with it, the less this happened, the more I got used to the keyboard. So it's not really an issue per se. It's just one of those things that takes a little bit of time to get used to. Now, we'll go ahead and take a closer look at the keyboard itself and then we'll finish up with a bit of a conclusion. All right, so as mentioned, the TT Esports Poseidon Z keyboard, it comes with a five year warranty. The switch is a TT Esports certified and it comes in both blue and brown variants of the switches. There are four backlit illumination levels so you can go ahead and either turn it off or there are four different brightnesses so you can go ahead and get it set to your um, needs. There's N key rollover, anti-ghosting, whatever you prefer to call it. So you can go ahead and hit numerous keys at the same time. Uh, and they'll still work. You won't have any lag or input. The mechanical brown switch is good for an expected life and see life of up to 50 million keystrokes. Now this goes along with that five year warranty. Like I said, you figure that'd be about 14 pound a year here in the UK. And that's also about 10 million keystrokes a year that you could pretty much get out guaranteed out of this. It'd probably be better for more, but that's what TT Esports is willing to put their money on. Now that's quite a lot. Now obviously if you're a professional writer writing tens of thousands of words a day, yeah, that may run in, but a little bit quicker. But for the normal average user, and especially gamer, 50 million keystrokes is gonna last you a long time. 
One of my favorite features on this keyboard is up in the top right hand corner, we have a disable Windows key. Now what this does is when you press this in, it disables the Windows key down in the bottom left. Now this is particularly important for gamers as when in game, if you hit that key it may pop up the start menu and minimize your game which could cost you the battle. Uh, we can't be messing with that. <laughs> like I said, it's a nice easy button. You go ahead, you press it once, disable it, press it again, boom, it's enabled again. It's quick, it's on the fly, it's easy to go. If you'll notice the F1 through F7 keys combined with the function key, you have multimedia keys where you can uh, forward, backward, play, pause, stop, and all the volume keys. The F11 and F12 keys are going to be the ones that control um, the brightness of the keyboard, as said, there is an off mode and then there are four different brightnesses to go ahead and get you um, through the night or through your gaming sessions. As it is fully backlit, uh, the, the brown kale switches offer a faster response time. As stated on the TTE um, website, it says the leading mechanical blue-brown switch actuates a bit after the tactile feel of the key. But the TT Esports certified mechanical switches actuates earlier and closer to the tactile feedback. Now this means that when you hit the key and you don't have to press it in as far, it reacts quicker and it does what you want it to quicker than it should. As mentioned again, the anti-ghosting feature is great because it allows you to hit numerous keys at the same time and it will still register all those individual key clicks. This will come in handy in MOBAs and RPGs and all that type of stuff. Uh, and it still does come in handy in a few first person shooter games. And that's pretty much it for the closer look. Now, to end this review off, I'll just have to say again, I was quite impressed with the keyboard itself. It offered great feedback, great feel, it's sturdy. Uh, typing on it was a joy. I did a lot of, I actually typed the written review of this keyboard on this keyboard and I typed a couple others up on it and obviously I was using it for day-to-day -day use for a period of time social media instant messaging all that type of stuff normally it's great uh, typing on it is quite nice as you'll see in the written review I can't remember the exact thing but I also I actually uh, got my decibel meter out and measured how loud the keystrokes were during normal typing so you can get a thing I mean obviously that's kind of me bashing the keys right there. It doesn't get too much louder than that. And once you get in the groove with typing, it is, they, the noise does go down a bit because obviously you're not pressing the keys as hard because you've got used to the feel of it. Uh, the Poseidon Z, for the price, this is great. It got uh, my performance and value award. Uh, I can't recommend it enough for the price. Like I said, it comes in just under 70 pounds here in the UK. And it's a great keyboard alone as it is, but then when you think you've got the five-year warranty on it, that really just helps set it apart and gives it that little extra something to make it a better keyboard. If you're in the market for one, if you get your hand, get a chance to try one of these out, I would highly recommend it. Even if you are used to other mechanical keyboards, uh, I've used a few in my day and I still, this one, there's just something about this one. It just feels right. It feels nice. Uh, it's quite... There's just something about it. You have to try it out for yourself. As I said, I highly recommend it. I'll leave all the links down below in the description to the review, uh, the written part of the review, obviously, links to TT Esports page, the product page. You can go check them out. It does, the TT Poseidon Z does actually now also come in a full RGB uh, keyboard. So instead of just having the blue backlighting, you'll have the RGB lighting as well which you can control through the software and stuff which is nice again that model comes with the blue or brown switches as well as always thank you guys for watching and stay tuned in the future for more content